Along my restaurant career, I've worked at a couple restaurants, a dishwasher at Consuelo's in La Mesa, El Torito in Mission Valley in La Jolla, and I picked up a few recipes. This is my adaptation of enchiladas. I call it Mexican lasagna. Let's get cooking with style. I love enchiladas, but there's a lot of work that goes into it. So the shortcut we're gonna take is pre-roasted chicken and then we're going to break it down so we don't have to deal with cooking a whole chicken. The second thing we're going to do, because this is lasagna, is we're gonna have some ricotta cheese. What makes this a little bit different is the spices that go in it. We're gonna have a little salt, cumin, coriander, and ancho chili. That will go in, and we'll mix that together, and then we'll just assemble this. And it's as easy as making lasagna, except it's Mexican style. Time to start our lasagna. And we're going to put a layer of enchilada sauce. And to get it this bright, I blend in the tops of the cilantro to make it nice, bright, and green. We're gonna put in a ladle of enchilada sauce, swirl it around, and then we'll start putting our tortillas down. I take my tortillas and brush them with a little canola oil and warm them first. And now it's up to you how you want to layer this. We'll put in a little bit of chicken, and then we're going to throw a little bit of onions in there, and then we'll put a little bit of sauce on top. Nothing worse than dry enchiladas. And then you just do it over and over and over again. So again, a nice layer of tortillas. So this is where we go with the lasagna. This is the ricotta cheese, and we're just going to put a layer of this down. And then with this, we'll mix in a little bit of our Mexican style cheeses, and this will be why I call it Mexican lasagna. Because you never normally put ricotta cheese in a layer with enchiladas. A little bit of sauce on top. Again, we don't wanna, we don't wanna have dry enchiladas. And I'm gonna throw just a little bit of onions on top of that too, okay? Another layer, and we're almost there, nice good meaty layer of chicken. And then again, you just gotta keep putting in a little drizzle of this sauce or else it's gonna be really dry. We're coming into the home stretch here. And now, the final layer of cheese. All right, I'm gonna throw this in the oven, 325 for about a half an hour. Watch for the center to bubble a little bit and that's when you know it'll be done. All right, we're out of the oven, I like to let the Mexican lasagna sit around for maybe about 10 minutes to set up. Here's my uh, sauce that I preheated, just like you would do if you were serving lasagna. You need a little extra sauce. Take our Mexican lasagna out, a dollop of sour cream on top. Now a little bit of avocado on top. We'll slice it and fan it just a little bit. A sprinkle of cilantro, and then some cotija cheese over the top. That is my version of Mexican lasagna. It's easy, simple, delicious, and a crowd pleaser. If you'd like this recipe and more, go to cbsa.com recipes, and this will be waiting for you. Dig in.